Hi, I'm Kristen from Gluten Free Fox, and today I'm going to be testing Hodgson Mills um, buckwheat flour. According to their website, it is naturally gluten free, but it's not on their um, solely gluten free section because it is ground on the same stones as other products that may not be gluten free. And some people on the forums have said that they've had problems with this product. I've never tried it, so um, I purchased it, and then I did the research and realized the error of my ways. So um, I got my Eliza Tech Easy Gluten Test um, from easygluten.com. I'm going to go ahead and test some of this flour. Now with something like a flour, um, in case it's not gluten free, I'm going to want to be really careful because even just as I opened it, there's you know flour in the packaging and it can get airborne. So if there is gluten, I want to be really careful. Um, so I'm just going to be really gentle as I take my sample here and place it in the extraction solution. And I'm going to replace the cap and shake this for two minutes. I've now placed 10 drops into my test tube and I'm going to put my Easy Gluten test strip in there, arrows down, and allow that to sit for 10 minutes in order to develop. Well, the results are in, sort of. Um, this is the first time this has actually happened to me, but not that certain of these results. Um, if you can see, we have a very clear um, top line, although the, um, the one half of it is a bit blurry. Um, so we have a very clear top line. The middle line is kind of half there, half not. And so the bottom line, I can see where it should be. So I'm not sure really if there's a bottom line or not. So this is between a negative and a positive. I'm really not certain of, of what this means. And I'm going to have to contact Eliza on this one. But I thought that I'd go ahead and leave this video up just to demonstrate that um, sometimes, you know, I there did a user error or maybe the test went bad or something. Sometimes it doesn't work out. So, um, you know, we can get a negative, we can get a positive, and we can get a question mark. Um, and it may well be that I missed a step here. So I'm going to contact Eliza and we'll be testing the Hodgson Mills again.